There's a powerful way in which you can place the timing of this 90 minute work bout in an optimal way. You have access to a very important piece of data that dictates when this bout should start more or less and when it should end. That piece of data is your temperature minimum. If you're somebody who wakes up on average at 7 a.m., well, then your temperature minimum is 5 a.m. You can be reasonably sure, I want to underscore reasonably, but you can be reasonably sure that your best work is going to be done anywhere from four to six hours after your temperature minimum. So for me, I tend to wake up around 6.30 a.m. That means my temperature minimum is at 4.30 a.m. You can add five hours to that. So that means that a 90-minute work bout could fall at 9.30 a.m. and it would be fairly optimized. Or I could do it at 10.30 a.m. Or I could do it at 8.30 a.m. Somewhere in there, all right? We can't say that it's exactly six hours after your temperature minimum. You will find it, however. There is a precise and best time for you to do this 90-minute work bout. Whether or not it's five or six hours after your temperature minimum is going to vary from person to person. How do I know this? How do I know this relationship between temperature minimum and focus cognition? Well, temperature minimum defines the trough, the, the nadir, as they say, of, the, of your temperature across the 24-hour cycle. And immediately after that, your temperature will start to rise. That temperature rise is actually what triggers the initial cortisol release that you experience and wakes you up further. And then of course that sunlight that you're getting is going to further enhance that healthy release of cortisol. That cortisol will then provide fuel, if you will, for that increase in temperature and your body will continue to increase in temperature throughout the day toward the afternoon. What you're trying to do in this, in this idea of optimizing this 90 minute work bout to a particular time of day is catch the portion of the steepest slope of that temperature rise. Now, again, you're not work, walking around with a, with a thermocouple or uh, a thermometer um, in some uh, orifice of your body, so you don't have accurate information about temperature, but you can make very good guesses about when your body temperature is rising fastest by virtue of that temperature minimum. So again, just to be clear, it's a 90-minute work bout. That's about what the brain can handle for a very intense work bout. Do understand again that there are going to be portions of that 90 minute that your brain is flickering in and out of focus, other portions where you're going to be entirely focused, that's entirely normal. But when to place that 90 minute work bout, when to start it and when to end it will depend on that temperature minimum. So if you're somebody who wakes up at 8 a.m. each morning, your temperature minimum is 6 a.m., chances are you're going to want to start this work bout somewhere around 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Now, Some people wake up and feel very alert first thing in the morning. They can really do their best work first thing in the morning. Please, if that's you, continue to do that. Leverage that time. Use that time. But if you're somebody who struggles to find focus, definitely let your physiology and this rise in your body temperature support your efforts to focus rather than trying to do your best work at times of day when your physiology is actually directing your body and your brain toward defocus and towards being more lethargic. It just is setting yourself up for success when you try and capture this rising phase of your temperature.